guys, yasas, que calos te to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making stuffed zucchini boats. They're going to be filled with a delicious meat sauce, topped with bechamel, and I also roasted a layer of potatoes because roasted potatoes and any, any stuffed vegetable go so good together and they're so delicious. This is basically my take on melizanes papuzakia, which is basically a classic Greek recipe the same exact thing, only it's made with eggplant, but zucchinis are in season right now. They're everywhere. There's so many different varieties. And I saw them at the supermarket and I immediately thought of this dish. So that's what we're making today. Basically, kolokisakia papuzakia. <laughs> I think I just made that up because I've never had it anywhere, but it is delicious. Let's get started. So I basically peeled, uh, I think about four or five russet potatoes, which are baking potatoes. These are not fully cooked. I just cut them into thick slices. Some are thinner than others, but it really doesn't matter. I drizzled some olive oil on top and seasoned with simply with just salt and pepper. And I roasted them for 15 minutes. You could roast them for about five, 10 minutes more, but they are gonna continue cooking later on. See, they're not fully cooked, but they are sort of tender and they've got some color on them. So I found these zucchini at the supermarket and they're bigger uh, than the regular thinner zucchini. So I thought these are gonna be perfect for stuffing. I've already taken care of these right here, but I'll show you what I did. Very simple, you just cut off the end and then you slice them down the middle. And then I like to use an ice cream scoop, a little mini scoop, but you can use a spoon. And I scoop out the center, but I do leave a little bit of a border so that way it won't fall apart in the oven. But you do want to make a little well in the middle because that stuffing is going to be delicious. And you want to save the, the pulp that you're taking out because that's going to go in the, in the meat filling. And that's it. Then you just want to place them in the tray on top of the potatoes. You kind of fit them in there. They don't have to be perfect. I am going to drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. And these are going to go in the oven. The oven is still at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight, nine minutes or so until they begin to get a little bit soft. So you just want to roughly chop the zucchini pulp because it's going to help it cook very quickly once, once it goes into the pan. You don't want to waste anything. Great way to get uh, vegetables into your diet or into your kid's diet. Um, and meat sauce is like the perfect way because you can barely taste that they're there, yet they add so much nutrition and fiber. So I do this with eggplant, I do this with zucchini, and you just don't even know it's there. That is good enough. So I just finally chopped one medium-sized onion and I cooked it in about three, four tablespoons of olive oil and I sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit of salt in there just until it's nice and golden and soft. That takes about eight minutes or so. Over here I have grated garlic. That's about a heaping teaspoon. If you're grating fresh garlic, you're going to need about five cloves. The more the better in my book. And when it's grated, you just want to warm it through. You don't want to worry about cooking it too much because it can burn. Next, I have a pound of ground beef. You can use ground chicken, ground turkey, ground lamb, whatever you want. And if you want to keep this vegetarian, you can make my uh, vegetarian bolognese sauce or vegetarian uh, meatless sauce. I'll put the link down below. That's a really delicious recipe. You can just use that instead of the meat and keep it vegetarian. So I'm just going to break the meat up a little bit. I have to turn off the heat so there's not that much heat under that. And I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes for heat if you like it, otherwise leave it out. Then I'm also going to put in all of this chopped up squash and a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes and then just puree them, or you can freshly grate 15 ounces of fresh tomatoes. And I'm just gonna cook this for about 15, 20 minutes over medium heat until the sauce is nice and thick and until the zucchini breaks down and everything is just nice and thick basically. Okay, so the meat sauce is finally ready. It did not take 10, 15 minutes. It actually took more like 25 minutes because it took a while for the zucchini pulp to break up. 
Um, so I would even cut it smaller than that. So once it's done and it's really nice and thick like this, you don't want any liquid in it because you do not want your dish to be watery. You want the meat sauce to be nice and thick like this. Give it a taste, check the seasoning. If it needs more salt, now's the time to add it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of dried oregano, about a teaspoon. If you add oregano at the end, it doesn't get bitter. If you add in the beginning, sometimes there's a chance of it getting slightly bitter. So I began to start adding it at the end. And then I also finally chopped some fresh parsley. I'm gonna put that in there, give it a nice mix. And I'm gonna set it aside while we make the bechamel. So for the bechamel, you need a saucepan and uh, a quarter cup of oil and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour to make the roux, which is a thickening agent. If you don't wanna use oil, I'm using olive oil, you can use butter. So you just want to cook the butter and the oil, whisking it often so that way it's nice and smooth until it's nice and toasted. That takes about two, three minutes on medium heat. Then I have two cups of whole milk. And this is cold milk straight out of the refrigerator. Just add it to the oil and, and all-purpose flour mixture and give that a mix just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Then it's time to season that. So I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. You don't want to add too much salt because it's going to get Parmesan cheese at the end, which is very salty. Some freshly cracked black pepper. Some people go heavy on the nutmeg. I just like to put a tiny bit, a quarter teaspoon, adds a little bit of warmth and it's not too strong. Now we're going to cook this over medium heat. We're going to constantly whisk it so it doesn't burn until it comes to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, Take it off the heat because it's gonna to start to thicken rapidly. And then take it off the heat and stir in a handful of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. So before you add the Parmesan cheese, this has started to thicken. I forgot to mention that you're gonna need two whole eggs. We have to temper these first, so just beat them really well. And then add some of the hot mixture to them. This is gonna keep them from scrambling. Then they're gonna go back in the sauce. Whisk really well. And now you add the Parmesan cheese. So the sauce is ready. Now it's time to put everything all together. So now you're just gonna fill the zucchini boats with the meat mixture. So it looks like we have a little bit of the meat filling left. So I'm just gonna save this. This tastes delicious over a salad, over rice, in a wrap. You could put it over pasta, however you wanna eat it. And then we're just gonna pour the bechamel sauce on top of each one of the boats. So I'm just gonna reduce the heat to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. These are gonna bake on the center rack uncovered until they're nice and golden. It's gonna take about 40 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna show you what they look like when they come out. So the zucchini is ready. It, it took a little under an hour to be done baking. You want to make sure that the zucchini is really fork tender. The potatoes are gonna be done too. And the bechamel is gonna thicken. My bechamel was a little bit on the thinner side. You should cook it a little bit more before you pour it on top. That way you'll have a thicker layer. This just poured throughout the tray. It's still gonna be delicious because it did coat the potatoes. It smells amazing. It is time to go in and take a bite. I like to put some potatoes on the plate, the zucchini on top. And if you wanna make a side salad, it's gonna taste even better. Mm. Such a delicious way to eat your veggies. Zucchini is perfectly cooked, very fresh tasting. Potatoes melt in your mouth and nice and creamy. That sauce is so hearty and delicious. And the creamy bechamel on top is cheesy and creamy and just everything it should be. The exact measurements are on the website, DemetriusDishes.com. Head on over to the website if you want to print it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.